guys, it's Erin and W back here with another video. So hopping right in, I am just sectioning off my first section. And the key word today is moisture, you guys. So beginning with my first section, I kind of finger detangle it a little bit. I, of course, washed my hair in sections. And the product I'm using is the Earth Supplied Leave-In Conditioner. Um, I actually did a review on my Instagram, so if you haven't seen that yet, go check it out. But this product is super duper thick. So this is the amount that I started with. Um, don't be like me guys and skip your deep conditioner. Never do it because I played myself and ended up using like double the amount of this product that I would have if I had deep conditioned initially. Um, so this section in particular was pretty dry so as you can see I was grabbing more product because I'm like this is just not working and I even come back to it later on because this section was just really really dry but you can see I'm just finger detangling with this product and making sure it's really worked in and grabbing even more product like this section was dry I'm telling you don't skip your deep conditioner but as always I use the leave-in oil um, and cream method so this is the natural obsession boutique complex oil in the scent vanilla um, I didn't really get a chance to smell it because of the other product it smelled very strong um, so I don't know how this one smells but um, yeah so it said you can use it as like a conditioner by itself but my hair was way too dry to even try that but maybe I'll try that later down the line so I used about three pumps of this oil on my hair or on each section of my hair and I just work that in and then I follow up with a Denman brush um, or tangle teaser on some sections and just make sure it's really moisturized. those same exact steps on each section of my hair first finger detangling and then adding in some of the leave-in and then I follow up with the oil and I detangle it and make sure the product is evenly distributed with either a tangle teaser or a Denman brush As you guys can see I'm back to that same section I began with like it just was not moisturized I added even more product and I think that time it did the trick um, so like I said just don't skip your deep conditioner at this point I began using the tangle teaser to make sure my hair was really smooth and detangled to get ready to work it into like the ponytail to kind of slick it back and you always want to work in sections when you're doing any kind of slick back, whether you're using gel or not. So that's what I did. So I did the LLC method on all of my hair and here I was just trying to decide if I wanted to do one ponytail or two ponytails to like stretch it and dry it and I decided on two because you know one ponytail makes your hair like you know hold that product really in there so I chose two because I needed my hair to dry a little bit faster. The key here is to make sure that your hair is super smooth. So that's why you see me brushing it with multiple brushes. And then I take my bristle brush and I just make sure my hair is smoothed down and all the flyaways are smoothed down. 
and then I secure that in the ponytail and I do that to the other side as well. So I already did this to the other side, but I take my three row tooth comb and just make sure that section is detangled. And I twist it down, secure it into a bun with a rubber band. And so I take a different bristle brush that's a little bit softer and I just brush over my hair to make sure all the flyaways are smoothed down. And then I also take my little egg brush and do the same thing um, just to catch those small little flyaways. And here's the back of my hair. And I kind of knew from the beginning when I did this that the part where the scrunchie was was not going to dry as fast as the rest of my hair because of the product that was all sitting there. But um, this is another key element to this style, ensuring that you tie your hair down. And honestly, I did this at night. And I would advise you to do it at night as well so that it can dry overnight and kind of set. So it's the next morning and I did put a bonnet on top of the scarf because I was so scared my scarf was going to come off at night. So I was like double protection. Um, it just made me feel, you know, better going to sleep. And um, you guys will see the results. So this is like the cute little in-between style that you can wear when you're in the middle of wash day but you want to like stretch your hair and have it moisturized. This is that style and so I did my hair with the intentions of that and I left this in. So this was on, when, no, on Thursday and I left this in until like Friday afternoon and that's when I finally took it out and y'all will see those results. Okay, you guys, since it's like Friday afternoon, evening, my hair has been in for like maybe like a day, day and a half. And so um, I could feel that it was still a little damp, but it was like, I would probably say like 85% dry. So I just went ahead and took out those ponytails. And of course, it was um, like damp around like where the scrunchie was, where I thought it would be damp because that's where all the product was but it was super duper soft and moisturized so this method will stretch your hair as you'll see in the end and it also gives you good moisture like amazing moisture so to finish out like the blowout look you want to section off your hair and just kind of comb through and brush out your hair um i took my wide tooth comb and initially combed through with that and then I followed up with this like baby brush um I don't even know where it came from but I just felt like it would be gentle on my hair and it will and it was so this method did stretch my hair but like the part where it was kind of damp um it left my hair a little shrunken at the bottom and that's why I did that little length check so you can so you can see how much it stretched it um, compared to my real length but if you made it to this point in the video you know what time it is please drop down below um, a flower emoji I'll leave it on the screen if you see this and this was just like a little clip that I got from another video but this was once my hair had completely dried and I combed it out some more. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching.